Luffy might just be the first person to achieve this level in history. Now, Luffy's strength has been highly debated ever since he got into the post time skip, as we weren't exactly sure as to where he was in terms of strength. And back then, we didn't really have a lot of comparisons to go off of because we just came out of the time skip. But now, after seeing a lot of battles that have taken course over the post time skip, especially with his fight against Do Flamingo, I think at this point in time, a lot of people had Luffy as around Yonko Commander level, even though Yonko Commander wasn't a thing back then but in hindsight he was most likely around that level which was a pretty fair assessment based on what we're currently seeing in the story and also because of the events of Whole Cake Island in which Luffy encountered Cracker now even though he had help from Nami the fact that he was able to hold his own for that amount of time says a lot about Luffy's strength it showed us that he had the firepower to take on these guys but obviously one of the main issues was Gear 4 because it was an ability that had a time limit so that was kind of the one thing that was kind of holding luffy back back then and even now still and then we move on to katakuri versus luffy in which we come to see luffy's true strength with him having the ability to adapt which added on to his undying resolve of not giving up this fight truly showed how much of a monster luffy was in terms of his endurance when luffy says he wants to do something he will put 120 percent now granted there was a lot of convenience in that fight things like the merienda katakuri seemingly not wanting to kill luffy as he was somewhat enchanted and mesmerized because I guess this was something that Katakuri had not experienced before. He wanted to see the end result of what Luffy would become and so he gave Luffy leeway to do certain things in that battle. But regardless of all that, one thing that we do know is that Luffy has an undying resolve to accomplish his goal and in a sense this was a battle of wills and the winner of this battle was Luffy. And as usual, every time he battles an extremely powerful foe, he always gets stronger in some way shape or form and in this case the most apparent thing that was gained was his newfound ability of future sight now his future sight is still somewhat different from katakuri but it essentially gives the same end result as future sight i will be making another video going more in depth about that because there's actually kind of a huge misconception about how luffy sees into the future it's not exactly like katakuri's but moving forward this advanced form of observation was something of measure that we as readers could recognize that Luffy was growing. And I think after this battle, a lot of people were of the assumption that Luffy was definitely commander level. And in this case, specifically on the level of the right hands of Yonko. And so this was sort of the beginning of Luffy tapping into the advanced forms of Haki. And it was a definite measure in which we actually knew that Luffy had obtained a new level. As prior to this, it was sort of unquantifiable. There was nothing exponential beforehand. Even though Luffy grew stronger from fighting the Flamingo, there was was nothing apparent that we could say Luffy became stronger and so I think Luffy getting future sight was setting up the leeway for Luffy to become the strongest. Now before we keep going this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Now, ever had problems watching certain Netflix shows due to area restrictions? Ever had worries about the potential of hackers getting their hands on your personal data? Well, worry not, because Surfshark VPN helps you with all of this. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information between your devices and the internet, which in return protects all your personal data from the looming eyes of hackers and big companies. It also has this amazing feature that allows Allows you to change your IP into a new one and depending on where you change it to it gives you the ability to watch those area restricted Netflix shows that you couldn't watch before you'd be surprised at the amount of shows you can now watch with Surfshark VPN and by using my code Faro, you will be able to get your hands on Surfshark VPN at 83% off and that's not all you will also get three extra months for free Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so again links will be in the description check it out and remember to use my code Faro. Now back to the video. Now with Luffy getting an advanced form of hockey, it opened a whole new world of hockey as it basically confirmed that there was a higher level of each form. And with Luffy obtaining one of the best observation one could have, it gives you the idea that he will most likely tap into the advanced levels of Arnament as well as Conquerors, in which at this point in the story, Luffy has obtained advanced Arnament and a higher form of Conquerors. Now granted, I don't think this is the peak of Conquerors, but it is relatively high leveled. And so you have Luffy coming to a point where he has advanced Arnament, he has advanced 
observation and a very high level of conquerors. This for the most part makes Luffy a hockey master. Now we have seen that even though Luffy has advanced hockey, there is also a proficiency aspect to it, where you can refine advanced hockey to be better, as just achieving it is in the end all be all. So for Luffy, this will come with time as he enhances his techniques. Now we also have to remember that Luffy is also a devil fruit user. And this is where it gets very interesting as it may give us an insight to how ridiculously powerful Luffy will become. Now I also find it very interesting how some of the strongest characters are non-Devil Fruit users. Shanks, Garp, Roger, Rayleigh, right? These guys were so powerful that they were essentially going up against people who had both Devil Fruit abilities and proficient hockey users. And this kind of ties into my old video as to why I believe that there had to be another level of conquerors uh, different from the one that we're currently seeing in the story, which could explain why Roger, who has no Devil Fruit, can equal out the likes of Whitebeard, who had both advanced hockey and the strongest paramecia. It definitely doesn't add up. And this is partly why I lean towards Whitebeard being stronger than Roger, because he seemingly had everything Roger had, but with a top tier Devil Fruit ability. But it seems like there might be more to individuals like Roger, Garp, and Shanks. But what happens when a character built like Roger and Garp, who are individuals that are at the top of the verse without a Devil Fruit? What happens when these characters eat a Devil Fruit ability? How much stronger would Garp and Roger become if they ate the Light Light Fruit or the Magma Fruit or some other powerful Devil Fruit out there? And so this brings me to the untapped level of strength that no one in the show has shown us yet. And this is the level that I think Luffy will reach at the end of the story. It is a level beyond that of Roger and Whitebeard, and as tradition of this show follows, the new generation for the most part always surpasses the old. For Luffy to overcome what Roger couldn't do, Luffy has to be stronger, and Luffy is getting closer to achieving this power as him learning the advanced hockey is a setup for this. I believe that Luffy is going to obtain the same level of mastery that Roger had in every forms of hockey. In other words, Luffy would be as strong as Roger without his devil fruit. Luffy's Devil Fruit is ultimately the thing that would put him over Roger, as Luffy's Fruit is one that enhances Luffy's use of Haki. It's one thing if you have both Devil Fruit and Haki, but it's a different story when you can merge these two powers into one, which is what Luffy has been doing for the most part. It is a fruit that has a really good compatibility with Haki. So an endgame Luffy should look like this. Advanced Observation, Advanced Armaments, Advanced Conquerors, plus an awakened Devil Fruit ability and complete mastery of the Gomu Gomu no Mi. And to top it off, he is also able to use Haki in tandem with his Devil Fruit. In other words, this might make Luffy possibly the first character to achieve mastery in all aspects of power, whereas he's achieved the highest level possible in both Haki and Devil Fruit ability. I'm not sure if there's a single person out there that has done that yet. I think the person that was close to this level was Whitebeard, but I don't think he achieved it because he was stalemated by Roger, and again, Roger was a non-Devil Fruit user. This is a level of strength that we haven't seen before, and I think this is setting up Luffy's eventual encounter with a certain individual who has also broken limits, Blackbeard, a person who has acquired two Devil Fruits and arguably has the potential to be the strongest character of all time depending on if he gets a third. I think it's only right for Luffy to be this powerful in order to be on equal grounds with someone like Blackbeard, a character who will most likely achieve a level of strength that we haven't seen before. While it is true that Roger and Whitebeard were the strongest of their time, Luffy and Blackbeard are very likely to break the limit of the strongest as the ambition of becoming the Pirate King in this age means something much greater than it was back then. And because of how competitive this age is, it is most likely going to result in and people that will surpass the boundaries of the older generation. So we're very likely to see a battle that will even surpass that of the God Valley incident. So it's safe
safe to say that Endgame Luffy is going to be a monster, having mastered all forms of power to its absolute peak. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Comment down below what you guys think. I would appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video and subscribe for more One Piece content on this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Ferrospace, but it is Ferro, guys, and I will see you folks later. Peace.